that so in this little video i'm going to do a little audio comparison from using my gopro 10 internal external microphone inside my helmet and then i'm going to plug that same microphone into the insta 360 x2 just so we can see the difference so the idea i've done it for is if every remote I'm on tour and my GoPro plays up, which the, you know everybody knows they're quite known for having the Gremlins, so if this plays up or it won't switch on, I can just use this this red lead. I'm going to keep plugged in. I can just quickly plug that into my mic, and then the 360. I'll start picking up the audio. So I'm kind of using it as a bit of a, a backup, a backup plan. Because you know you do get it. Uh, you'll get on the screen everything looks like it's working fine on the gopro i've done it before you've been out got a great video come back and you've had no audio recorded or sometimes the camera just won't switch on and what i'm going to start doing is if we go out for the ride first time we stop or pull over and have a little break i'm just going to connect my phone to the gopro watch back some of the clips just to make sure i have recorded audio if i find out the audio is not working then i'll know why right, i now need to jump and swap swap audio but i know this is uh what goose has got this is his setup he's not got a helmet mounted camera anymore and space by roy's done it and here in there i was quite quite impressed with their audio which come out quite good from the insta so you just have to have this tiny little uh little connector there what puts usb-c in the bottom to charge it and the microphone on the side because it's directly on the edge, you shouldn't see this in the 360 camera. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull over, and then I'm going to swap. Unplug my microphone from the GoPro, and I've got this red lead here in the tank bag. I'm just going to plug that into my mic, and then I'm jumping my audio. I suppose I could do um, one of these voice splitters, so I could send the audio to the two of them. So if ever one of them cut out or one of them played up, I know I've recorded audio on both cameras. I just don't know whether that uh, YP splitter, whether that affects the quality of the audio. I'll have to try that. Um, try that on another video, see what it's like. But for this video, I'm just going to test the audio quality, just to make sure that it is a good, a good backup plan. I can use it just to switch, switch cameras to uh, capture my audio. Right, we'll pull in here. There's a petrol station. I'll pull in here to switch the audio. So any minute now, the audio is going to cut out, because I'm going to unplug it. So if I feed that through there, put some of the excess back in my tank bag. Right, so that's going to be my audio. So where's my microphone on this? So the audio is going to go. Well, that's it. That's the audio plugged in. So I'm hoping now the Insta360 is recording my audio. And we'll just do a comparison to see how that sounds. Well, let's carry on. Let's see how the Insta360 works with background noise. Because I do like uh, the audio from the GoPro 10. I do think the quality is it's quite alright. And it does pick up enough uh, background noise. It does pick up the tone of the bike. But I think my, um, the X... Well, not just the X2, but I think the Insta360 is do remove quite a bit of the background noise which is a good thing so I suppose it will remove the wind but I'm wondering if it's going to completely remove all of the sound so it doesn't even pick up the engine we'll see so this is the microphone now plugged into the Insta360 X2 recording my audio from the same lavalier mic inside my helmet so it's just a comparison test. What I'll probably do is 
I might jump forwards and backwards with a few little clips between this and the GoPro of what I've said earlier just so we can do kind of a side by side comparison because you know you do get it uh, you'll get on the screen everything looks like it's working fine on the GoPro well right, let's carry on let's see how the Insta360 works with background noise because you know you do get it uh, you'll get on the screen everything looks like it's working fine on the GoPro All right, let's carry on let's see how the Insta360 works with background noise so if it works that's going to be my backup plan if it don't work this video won't you won't be watching it you won't be seeing this I'll have to come up with more testing but um, I know for Goose and for Space Boy Roy it has worked it's worked really really well so that's my backup and I might look into that I might try it at another time trying a split audio see if I can get it on both cameras because that might be an idea in case one camera goes or one camera dies which more than likely that is going to be the GoPro because if any one of them has problems and plays up like everybody else it's always the GoPro the Insta 360 seem to be faultless to be honest they do seem to be faultless and as I said, Goose has removed his helmet camera now. He's just going with his, his X2. And I think Roy's going to go down the same route. He's just going to use his 360. Which is good enough. I'm happy with it. But I also, I do like this view as well. The cockpit view. The view looking forward. So I'm going to try and stick with the two. And we'll see how we go. So if you are watching this, it's worked. And it's turned out okay. And I'll see you on the next one. Oosh.